I find myself so much funnier than everyone else does. Oh, shit, what have I done? I didn't go out and, and write an album trying to be someone else, because that would be stupid. It, because then you just end up like a rubbish version of someone else. Uh, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to be myself. I'm going to write what feels natural. I didn't go in with a certain sound in my head. I was like, just whatever feels good at the time. Hey, let's stick an electric guitar on this. Hey, let's stick piano on this. Hey, tomorrow let's get some trumpets in. Let's get some saxophones in and let's record it live. That felt right at the time and that felt natural. Uh, hey, let's put a 30 piece choir on this. Wait, we haven't got a 30 piece choir. Let me go in the studio and build a 30 piece choir. And it's, it's stuff like that that just felt like the right thing to do at the time. I'm really proud of, of how it's turned out. I think the mixing and mastering process for me is as important as the writing, producing side of it as well. Because the difference between a song sounding good and a song sounding great is making sure the mix is spot on. And I will send pages and pages and pages and pages of notes. There was one song um, on track one of the album and it was like, there's a G sharp in the bass line that needs to go. It's on a, it's been echoed over from another note. And they're like, it's not there. I was like, I promise you it's there. I can hear it. There's a G sharp in the bass line. It's echoed over from the note before. And it was like, producer pulls up, I'll oh, show it, pulls up the session, goes down to the bass line. He's like, good Lord, there's a G sharp in the bass line. <laughs> it's echoed over from the note before. And I was just like, I'm sorry. So it's stuff like that, like I really go in, in depth on, on everything because it's, it's something I've taken incredible pride in. And also you've got to live with that for the rest of your life as well. If that G sharp in the bass line stayed there, it'd be there till the day I die. And I, that would be the only note I hear on the whole song. But yeah, it's, it's one of them things that I've, I've really gone in depth on and I've taken, yeah, like I said, great pride in.